everybody, and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Feed the Beast server. We're here at my base, uh, being surrounded by fart bubbles, I think as Corellis calls these. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, like I mentioned last episode, our base is now infected with Mining Fatigue 3. That's unfortunate, because, yeah, we spent a lot of time building our base here, and now... Like, all of our actions are super slow. If I'm going to be doing any more building, it's going to be really obnoxious and annoying. Um, I've had some comments in the previous episode on what we could do to try and fix this. Um, some of you guys suggested that I use one of the white pendants from um, Geostrata. Uh, you know what? I don't have a pendant, but I do have this white potion crystal. I was using that in conjunction with this brown potion crystal before to give me uh, saturation and this just to wipe that effect so I don't have saturation for five minutes. Let's put that down see what happens. Okay, so the mining fatigue is there and then it goes away and then it's there and then it goes away. All right, so uh, potion crystal seems to be working all right. Um, wait, did I just break that potion crystal by... What the heck? That's never happened before. Uh, do I have my coin of suck? Let's do this. No, where's my coin? I don't even know where my coin of suck is. There it is. Hmm. So, oh, oh, oh wait, no, no, I think it's still there. <laughs> I'm just getting all sorts of glitches right now. Uh, let's do dirt. All right, so here's some dirt. Let's put some dirt down. There it is. All right, so it just didn't actually break. Alright, got it. Uh, do I have the piece of glass? I do. Right. So, uh, yeah, the potion crystal kind of works. Um, not exactly what I would like since that effect's going to keep flashing back and forth. Uh, we could try the pendant. I have never tried those Geostrata pendants before. Uh, let's check this out. Pendant. So how do you make... There's an, en an enhanced lime green pendant. Oh, so that actually does use the potion crystal. What about these guys? These just use those. So let's try the enhanced white crystal pendant. Yeah, like I said, I've never made one of these before. Uh, ah, we don't have any eyes ender. Let's make some of those. Two, okay. And what else we need? Uh, just my potion crystal that I put away. Uh, yep, let's try this. Stick that guy right there. All right, so I'm not sure how these guys work. Do you just have them in your inventory, or do you have to go to this tab over here and stick them on one of these things? Actually, that mining fatigue seems to be going away, right? I mean, it kind of flashes every once in a while, which is kind of annoying. But for the most part, it seems like I don't have any effects, right? Hmm... The only thing is, I have to have this in my inventory all the time, or... Yeah, hmm. Well, I guess that is a workaround for now. That'll make it less annoying when I have to do things around here. Um, but yeah, the fact that that keeps flashing every once in a while, hmm. Not, not super excited about that. Then all the animals still have their regeneration and their mining fatigue. That's why you see it red every once in a while. They do have a little bit of regeneration. Like, if I punch a sheep... If you don't walk off the edge, yeah, there you go. So you go back to eight out of eight. So yeah, they do have regeneration as well. It's too bad that doesn't affect me. But yeah, what can you do? Okay, so um, another way to counteract this for the time being, um, I know people were saying that I should have DMAC try the MFFS stuff to try and move my base, which we can try and do, but I have to coordinate with him. He's away for the weekend, and uh, we got other things, so whenever we get a chance to actually record together, we can try that. Uh, but for now, I think what I want to do um, is just set up a quantum field ring or link chamber, whatever these things are, from Applied Energistics. This will allow us to remotely use our AE system from somewhere else. We don't have to move our stuff. We can just set up the ring somewhere else and have access to all of our stuff. So in order to do that, I'm pretty sure, it's been a while since I've done this, but I'm pretty sure you need the quantum link chamber in the very center and then surround that with eight quantum field rings and that makes that multi-block structure. And then on top of that, you also have to, what is that? You have to use like this ME condenser thing. Uh, so what I wanna do, let's do a 64K, uh, not 64, let's do storage. 
Um, I've taken apart a bunch of 16K storage cells. So we have 12 of these storage blocks. So let's make a storage cluster. Let's just make one of those. It should be really fast. Yep, we just use some of these storage blocks to do it. Uh, we will use one of these, uh, what is this, storage cell housing? Put those guys together. There's a 64K storage, awesome. So I wanna put down a partition editor. Let's take that guy right there, uh, 64K storage. And we also need a piece of cobblestone. Uh, just one, thank you. So cobblestone goes right there. So now if I format this, this guy will only allow cobblestone on this drive. Okay, very good. So next step, we need to put it in this MEIO port and we wanna go from the network over to our drive. So we'll flip this little arrow. And if we stick this 64 key disc right in there, it's gonna start dumping out all the cobblestone in my network onto that drive. So we're at, uh, yeah, you can see it's dumping it out almost about a thousand pieces a second. So that, that's pretty quick. Right, so once this fills up, we can take uh, all the stuff on the 64K storage and dump it into an ME condenser. Now this guy takes things from either on a disc or I think you can drop items in there. Um, we're gonna need some kind of a storage block or something and then it converts it over into matter balls. No, we're gonna want singularities. So yeah, that's a lot of items that we have to do. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those things for applied energistics that it's more of an end game thing. So once we get all this stuff on the drive, we can start compressing it down into the singularities. Uh, let's wait for this to finish up and I'll be right back. That actually takes quite a long time for those items to transfer from the network onto the drive. The 64K storage drives hold a heck of a lot of items. Uh, so partway through putting the cobblestone on this disc, I realized we're running low on the cobblestone and that's because our Quarry Plus was actually set to Silk Touch and we collected a bunch of stone, not so much cobblestone. So yeah, I was looking in the ME system here and we had uh, 8 million at one point, or 8 million before I started, uh, stone. I don't know what the exact count was, but yeah, we had quite a lot of that, only 300,000 cobblestone. I don't think we're going to quite make it on the cobblestone count. So I switched the partition over to stone for this disc and we dumped all the stone on there. So uh, next thing we need to get one of those storage thingies. I don't think it matters which one you use. We're gonna use a storage block just because we have them. So we'll put that guy right there. Put this guy, oh, you know what? I think this has to be touching the Emmy network. Let's stick you right in front of the partition editor or uh, the IO port. So we'll put this guy here, that guy there, and we don't want to destroy the items, whereas I, I might have been just destroying them. Uh, we want to condense into singularities, not these silly matter balls. All right, here we go. Now we got stuff going. Uh, so it's probably a good idea not to put in your drive until you get all the settings set the way you want it, but you know, whatever. Okay, so we have to let this go all the way up to 256,000, then I'll get this one singularity, and then we can move on to the next step. So... Again, let me make a cut, wait for things to happen, and we'll be back. Hmm, so I've been watching this thing go for a little while. It's about halfway done, and it's made some pretty good progress, but I'm noticing now when I hover over the little accumulated energy bar, I'm not seeing anything happen. So I don't know if this thing's just stuck and it's just going to make our, con our singularity thing uh, when we get down, or if I'm just wasting uh, the storage, hmm. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. It kind of feels like we're just going to waste it and this thing's broken, but uh, yeah, we'll come back and see what the progress is when this thing runs low. See you in a bit, guys. So I finally got it all figured out. <laughs> it seems like this has changed from the last time I have done the quantum field uh, ring for the applied energistics. Uh, basically what I had to do is put in the bigger storage cluster. This is the one you make for a 64 K drive. So before we were having the one in here for the 16 K drive, and then only let us get up to a bound, you know, a third of the way full. And then I tried it with one of the smaller, like four K ones, because I'm pretty sure I did this before with a four K drive, like an unleashed. And it only allowed us to get about 18,000. So obviously the bigger the uh, storage, 
the bigger we can accumulate energy. So storage cluster allowed us to get the full uh, amount for our singularity. Right, so now we are pretty much good to go. Uh, one more thing we have to do is we need to get some ender pearl dust. So let's go ahead and put an ender pearl in this macerator over here. And that goes right over into our system. So I can just come back and get ender pearl <laughs> dust. Now it does have to be the applied energistics, not the portal gun version. It has to be this one. So now we got the singularity and the ender pearl dust. We need to get ourselves a piece of TNT. So we can do the big one and make a big explosion, or you can do the tiny TNT from Applied Energistics, which is uh, Surtis Quartz Dust and Gunpowder, or you can also use Nether Quartz Dust. So we'll take one of those guys. We're going to need a flint and steel. Yep, there we go. So this should be pretty much everything we need now to make our uh, Quantum Entangled Singularity, whatever. I guess we'll do it over here where we got some flat land and there's nothing else around. So let's put the TNT down. We will put a piece of ender pearl dust uh, right there. Should be fine. And a singularity. Yep. They don't have to be touching each other. They just have to be in the range of the explosion. And let's go ahead and set that little bitty TNT off. Boom. And what do we got? There it is. We now have Quantum Entangled Singularity. That's awesome. So now we need to grab some dirt to patch this back up. Uh, dirt, 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 dirt. And then I'll grow back in time. That's fine. Okay, so now that we have the Quantum Entangled Singularity, we need to set up the multi-block structure here because we have to pipe the signal uh, back to somewhere else. And I'm probably going to set it in the overworld for now at our spawn base area. So I guess over here should be pretty good. I mean, we got a space here that's kind of out of the way. It's not really touching anything else. And let's see, we have to be... Can I set it right here? I might have to bring this cable down a block. Or I guess I could put it right here attached to this cable. I don't know if that really matters. Um... Yeah, you know what? Let's do it right here. We kind of... Oh, well, we have these glowstone nooks that are going to be in the way, too. Oh, I don't know. we got to put it somewhere. Maybe we can stick it right here against the wall, and this will connect it. Okay, so we need the quantum field ring. So we'll do... Whoops. That one doesn't go there. We'll do that. We need the quantum link chamber. There we go. Uh, you can see the ME cable did connect right there, so we are good. It does not connect on the corners. And then we have to put one of the two pairs of our quantum entangled singularities in there. Okay, so now we got the cool little effect right like that. Uh, we should be all good to go. Now we can wirelessly transmit our applied energistic signal anywhere we want. Another dimension, the overworld, the nether, uh, the deep dark, anywhere. So let's go set up our other side of this. I think we're going to do it in the overworld at our spawn base, like I was saying. Uh, we will need something to power that. It does require energy. And I don't see any tesseracts in there. Oh no, we don't have any tesseracts. I gotta build a new one. <laughs> Alright, so let's do that. We're going to need some ender pearl juice. For those should do it. Yep. We'll head over to the overworld. We'll get that going and hook up where we're going to put the quantum link chamber i'm also going to need another emmy access terminal i'm pretty sure um i don't know if my remote is going to work on this thing or if i have to yeah it should work because you can only have one controller per network right so yeah that should work so let's set this guy up over here actually before we set that up let's just smelt up some of those guys get this going and that in there and this needs to be set to that mode it's gonna juice on over oh it was putting it up in there okay so we need to do this flip this thing around ah do i have my wrench on me come on do i have it i do good we can make some progress here click that and we need to do it this way flip this on Okay, so Ender Pearl Juice should be... <laughs> there we go. Now it's doing its thing. Right. 
Uh, now we can set this guy up. I assume right here is going to be where we want it. It's kind of an out of the way spot. We're not doing anything right there. Uh, we can put this guy right in here. And nothing's going to happen until it gets power. So, uh, is this thing done? There it is. And I keep this stuff um, in the tank. I don't really keep it in the machine just in case I need to do redstone or whatever. Right, so back to the base. We will turn this thing into <laughs> the proper test rack. Me down. Me down. Uh huh, and direct this thing. There we go. Test rack to get. Now the only problem with me putting the book that goes over to the Nexus is when I don't want to go to the Nexus and I want to go over to my spawn base. I have to fly over here. Maybe I'll make another book just so we can warp over here. But here we go. We're there. Everything's good. Um, I think we will stick it under here. We'll have to get rid of one of those glowstone nook things. Alright. You can go there and this is going to be private owner only. And main power, we'll set this to fluid mode blocked, item mode blocked, energy mode receive only, bam. Yeah, so now that thing lit up. So we're pretty much good to go. Um, I don't think my wireless thing is going to work here without a wireless deal. Uh, so we'll need one of those. We're going to need an access, all of that stuff. Let me go ahead and build the rest of the ME stuff that we're going to need to have our stuff here. And I'll be right back. So after getting everything all set up, I decided it kind of was taking up a lot of space in the room. So I set it in the wall two blocks back. Uh, I have the Tesseract directly below it. And then we have the wireless access point directly above it. And since, um, you know, whatever is touching the quantum field ring has to be on one of these four sides. It can't be touching the corner. I put the ME crafting terminal down on the bottom. I would like to center it. Uh, right there, but unfortunately we'd have to run a wire and then I'd have to look at making some of the facades to cover up the cable that connected to one of these four corners or four sides. Anyway, just easier on the bottom. So now we can just put some stone bricks around there. We won't even be able to tell that that quantum field chamber is even there or the field ring. And we have access to our stuff. We can also use our wireless. <laughs> so yeah, that is really, really cool. Okay, so now we have our stuff from our base in the overworld. Now is when I want to start looking at <laughs> upgrading some of our rotary craft stuff. We want to ro we want to upgrade the rotary craft magnetostatic engine to different tiers. So let's look at these upgrades. Uh, so I tried this in a creative world, and you do absolutely have to do the tier one, then the tier two, then the tier three. Uh, right here, then the tier four, and I think we only have to go up to tier four. Okay, so tier one uh, required some HSLE steel ingots, required these ethanol crystals, and that's the problem that we didn't have. We didn't have any ethanol crystals. So in order to get ethanol, we needed this sludge stuff, and you smelt that into the ethanol crystals. Looks like we can dupe it with the mimicite. Sure, so the sludge is created using yeast in a fermenter, plus some kind of a uh, leaf or a sampling, all right? But we need to get the yeast. So we have to get sugar in a fermenter with some dirt to make yeast. Doesn't sound that hard. I haven't even looked at the recipe for the fermenter. Uh, it's going to be this one, I assume. Minimum power, 1 kilowatt, 32,000 rads. All right. And we have to make this on a work table, it looks like. So that's tin or HSLE steel, base panels, and an impeller. I don't believe we have an impeller. Uh, but we can make the HSLE steel gears, I am very certain. So let's start making some of this stuff. So we need the impeller, which is going to be that, HSLE steel gear. Uh, so let's make one of those. There's an impeller. And finally, we need to make the... Then, oh yeah, that's right. This has to be done on the work table. Uh, so let's make some of these. What was else? Was the recipe? We need tin or HSLA steel. Let's do tin. 
All right, so now that we did all that work to get our applied energistic system here, we still have to go back to the base and get our work table. You know what? I'm probably going to take the work table with us so we can head back to our overworld base. Uh-huh. Yeah, like I said, I'm still not sure what I'm going to end up doing as far as my base is concerned. Um, having that pendant on us definitely helps. But I don't really want to have to have the pendant on me all the time because that clears positive effects too. So if I wanted haste to, I can't have it. I just can't have any effects on me while I have this crystal. Okay, so here's the work table. We can do tin, 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 tin. And I believe it was that for the base plates and this for that. All right, so here's a fermenter. So what I saw is that this thing requires a little bit of power. Uh, looks like there's some kind of a temperature gauge. So we need sugar, right? There's some sugar. We need some dirt, which is right here. Okay, so if I shift click that and that, great. Right, so that's going to make, what is that, the yeast? Aha, uh -huh, so magnet, magnetostatic engine. Didn't I have another one in here? Or do I have it in here? There it is. So if I stick this guy right there, can I just do this? Is this, uh, <laughs> is this thing not receiving power? I thought this thing was set to receive power. Oh, you know what? I think that has to be converted to, yeah, I think that has to be converted to MG possibly, or maybe it has to receive the power from the back. So let's just grab a cable real quick. Yeah, I think it just has to be received from the back. So the front of this thing, we are going to set to uh, output. Stick that right like that. That connects over here. The engine's going. Uh, it's making our humming sounds. The uh, the mod that hums. But we are not getting what we need. So does this thing need to be turned? It might. I don't know. I didn't see any marks on this thing when I set it down. What happens if I put it this way? Does that do anything? Ah, there we go. Now those are full. Okay. So let's put that and that in there. Um... Oh, water? Aha, there we go. Figured it out. <laughs> okay, so now we have some yeast. So in order to make those tiered upgrades, what was it? We had to do yeast and something else. Yeast plus leaves or sugar cane or some kind of plant life, it looks like. How many saplings do we have? Ah, we got a bunch of these rubber saplings. Hopefully those will work. So if we take that out, we can do yeast plus this. Perfect. So now we're getting sludge. I'll just go and turn all the yeast into the sludge. That should be fine. Oh, and it looks like it sometimes doesn't use the yeast. Interesting. Okay. Very good, very good. Right. So let's take that stuff out. So let's grab some of that Mimikite. And this, there's our ethanol crystals, awesome. Okay, so once again, my short-term memory fails me. So it's HSLA steel, ethanol crystals, and redstone. So let's click that guy right here. And we'll put our ethanol, do, 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 do. Converter tier one, awesome. So now we can click that guy on here. You can see the, what am I looking at tool tip went from consuming one RF to two. And now I should be able to bump this up even higher. Yeah, we can double the speed now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so to make the next tier, tier two upgrade. Shaft core, which is HSLA and shaft unit. Wait, does that have to be done on the work table or can I do that shapeless crafting or uh, shaped crafting? Okay, so we will make one of those guys. I believe I should have all those parts. Yep. And then we just need to do this tier two. Awesome. So we can click that on there. Did that must be magnetized to 720 micro Teslas to be used. How do I magnetize this thing? Uh, magnetize, magnetized unit, magnetostatic engine. I assume this is the guy we have to use. 
Oh my goodness, we need a mount, base panel, gold coil. Those don't look that hard to do. No, we should be able to make all this stuff. So gold coil, um, let's make a couple of those. Do -do, gold coil. So two of those guys, we need the mount. I might even have one. No, but I have it on auto craft. Okay, so there's those in the mount. We need base panels. All right, so we only have two. We needed a total of four. Uh, so give me those and we will, cr oh, I had those on auto craft too. Oh wait, we have two more down here. So now we have four of those, awesome. We need redstone as well. Okay, so work table. Uh, we need the mount. These guys go in the four corners, redstone in the center bottom and those two, bam. Okay, so magnetizing unit. Let's go ahead and remove this guy. I don't think we need that particular thing anymore. So let's set this guy down. And do that. I have no idea if this thing is working. <laughs> uh, okay, let's click info. The magnetizer uses a rapid... Rapidly rotating shaft to create a magnetic field inside the shaft core. This is one of the critical components of an AC electric engine. It requires AC redstone current at high speed. Oh. So how do we make AC redstone current? Um, AC? Space? AC electric engine. Okay, <laughs> so now we gotta make one of these. Um, isn't there a thing where you can turn redstone on and off really fast? Or is that how this thing works? I don't know. Okay, so we have to make one of these engines. Let me go ahead and build this and we'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys. So, I spent a little bit of time here researching this mod, figuring out what we had to do, looking up on the internet. Uh, we came up with this contraption to get our tier two upgrade magnetized. So, uh, what we got going on here is we have our Tesseract, right? That's providing RF power to our magnetostatic engine. This guy is set up as far as it'll go on our tier one upgrade. So this guy, our magnetostatic engine is going into a CVT, which has all of these belts in there. I snagged this guy from... Uh, the nether wither skeleton farm, which is broken right now, so we weren't using it. So I snagged this guy. Uh, we need the belt ratio up to 32, speed, and then you have to fill this up with that lubricant. Okay, and that guy is feeding into our magnetizing unit here. So, in order to upgrade our magnetostatic engine to the tier 2, as you can read on that tooltip, it says it must be magnetized to 720 micro teslas. The heck is that sound? I don't know if you guys can hear that. Something loud outside my uh, my place. Anyway, uh, this has to be magnetized up to 720 micro teslas before we can upgrade our magnetostatic engine. And you can see the rate in which we are magnetizing. <laughs> uh, we also have to provide it a redstone signal to the side. It has to be an alternating current. Can't be solid. So we have two... Why does it say tile diode name? That's weird. We have two repeaters just providing a one tick clock, just feeding back into each other. We've just pulled off that current into the site as magnetizing unit. Uh, you can also use some other things. There's clock, uh, clocks from Project Red, I think uh, extra block, or not extra blocks, open blocks has a redstone clock. I don't know. Uh, this was the one that was recommended on the forum post that I saw, so this is what we're doing. Um, if you haven't seen that before, how to get these things set up, they're very, very easy. You just have two repeaters pointed into each other. Lay down the redstone like that, just so it's a loop. And then all you gotta do is place and break a redstone torch real quick. Not too difficult. And then just connect that over and we're pulling the redstone signal. So yeah, now we are magnetizing. <laughs> so this is obviously gonna take... Oh, I, at this rate, I would say 30 minutes or so. I don't got time to wait for this. So I'm going to end the episode here. We're just going to let this charge up. Next time, we will upgrade our guy to the Tier 2. Um, and then we can move on. What is the Tier 3 require anything that's crazy? Oh, yeah, look at this. 
uh, inductive ingot, which is going to use a pulse jet furnace. Something else we've never used before. All right. Well, guys, looks like we got a lot of new stuff to investigate and check out. Uh, these clocks do lag a little bit on the server. Hopefully, we're not causing too much of a problem. Uh, but yep, it <laughs> needs to be done. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time.